This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to a repop with me. So, we have a few topics to cover in this video. So much so, I'm going to give you over two separate videos because there were some meaty topics and I just feel it would take ages if we put it into one. So, without further ado, let's get started. I want to preface this. I feel like I have to keep repeating myself a little bit, but I will, it's okay. I understand people come in that are new and not everyone watches these kind of videos. But in these videos, guys, we talk about literally anything you ask me to talk about, okay? Could be cats, horses, plant drama, Invisalign, makeup, gay, straight, life. We probably don't talk about politics, that's just because I'm not quite into it, but we talk about literally anything, okay? So you needn't leave, I mean you can if you want, but you needn't leave a comment saying, oh I come here for plants, can we just talk about plants? All my other videos are for that. I think I've made that pretty clear. These are not. So if that's not for you, honestly, I won't be offended. I'll see you next time. Just click off. But I just want to reiterate that because I feel like a few people watch these videos and then they get a bit like a bit put out, I guess, because we're talking about stuff that isn't planty. So that's the tea. If you all have been here with me since the very beginning of my repot with me, you will already know that. I'm only saying it for the new people amongst us. So I'm going to put on some gloves and we're going to get started. So in today's video, we are going to repot a beautiful Monstera mint that I will pick up in a moment. I'm not potting it in a way that I would have liked to. I did have a totally different moss pole that I wanted to put it on. However, I've left it at home. Great. So I'm going to risk it for a biscuit, as we say in the UK, and I'm going to put it on a different moss pole and hopefully later down the line, if I want to change it, I can. I don't like doing that because we know, we know how Monstera get, but there you go. I've got two different pot sizes as well. I'm just going to look at the roots and judge what I want to do. Hopefully I'll get it in the bigger one because I won't have to repot it as quickly, but we'll see. So I have my energy drink. I have, I think I have everything I need. I really hope I do. If my hair pisses me off, I'm going to tie it up. But for once, I'd like to leave it down because I feel like I always tie it up. So let's get the planting question. I'm also sat today, a little bit of a different setup, but why not mix it up, mix it up. So you will have probably seen this literally, oh, I want to say last week or so. This is a beautiful Monstera mint that I held up for y'all. It's not the only mint I've got. I have a few that are actually in the tray behind me, um, but this one I've selected for myself. Hopefully it doesn't give me any problems because I hope you can see this well enough on this video. I know we're framed quite far out, but this new leaf is quite mint and the petiole is also quite mint. So hopefully we haven't gone too far, i.e. it's too variegated, but we'll see, but we'll see. So what topics have I got for you today? I have a few things to talk about, to be honest. Let me get my topics back up. First thing we're going to do while I talk is get this out of here. This is grown in Lekka and I have a bucket down here that you can't really see and I'm just going to empty it out. We're going to take a look at the roots. But while I do that, I'm going to get my first question. They're not in any order, but we'll start with an easy one, which is how do you feel about turning your DMs back on? What's it been like? One moment, guys. Oh my God. Oh, it's going to be stuck. This is going to be a surgical manoeuvre. So I'm going to have to put it down. I've got most of the lecker out, so I'm going to have to cut this pot. And all I've lost for me, it's a plastic pot. I will always cut a pot where I can, guys. I can't always do it. A few people have said to me in the past with my big um, L-hole watering inserts, oh, why don't you cut them? You literally can't, especially not with these. It would be impossible. Plus, you'd be throwing away a lot of money because they're quite expensive. So I'm going to just cut up here while I talk about turning my DMs on. So I think the question was something along the lines of like, how do you feel since you've turned them back on? Um, what's the hate been like? And honestly, guys, I think most of the nasties have left because I've only had one or two, you know, not so nice messages in my inbox, which has honestly been fantastic. And I'm, I'm pleased I turned them back on um, because not only do I receive nice things from all y'all, I got... I got to get bonus things that I wouldn't otherwise have access to, like, for example, when the neoplant situation was underway, which if you haven't seen from the thumbnail, we will be talking about it, trust me. Um, you know, my subscribers were able to tell me about them doing all that weird stuff in Instagram comments and stuff like that, which I do have something to say on that later. Stuff like that. Um, the main thing for me has actually been making friends with other YouTubers. Um, I've been able to actually have conversations with people and it, it made me realize that for years I actually haven't been doing it because obviously I was completely unable to because if, if anyone wants to talk to me, 
I made it so they couldn't. So the number one thing I've been able to do, as well as talk to some of you guys, I don't talk too much because obviously I'm a busy lady, but I've been able to talk and make friends with a few YouTubers, which is really cool. Really, really cool. And I, honestly, I, I'll talk to most of you. I think there is a, there's very few YouTubers I, I won't speak to, which is actually, funny enough, a question for my next video. So if you want to find out about my block list, tune in for next week. Um, but it's been really, really cool to make friends like that. I've spoken to a few YouTubers, which will come up over the course of this video. My most notable friend that I've made is the bearded plant guy. Love Jonathan. Oh my God. I'm actually going to put his channel down below because I know he's sort of dabbling in YouTube where he's formerly on Instagram. But you need to see his content because... Oh my God, that man cracks me up. He cracks me up. So I will pop him down in the description. I still talk to all my old friends as well. Good old Pam. We love Pam. Um, so yeah, that's actually been the best thing about turning them back on. I have nothing, nothing bad to report actually at all. It's been really, really good. So I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Sorry guys, this is... Ooh. I'm trying to cut through the pot without cutting through the plant. But we're nearly there. We're nearly there. I don't want to lose all these roots because the amount that's come through the bottom of the pot is actually quite substantial. I pull that, it's this chunk here that I want out. I just pull it and then we will investigate it further for rot and other such things. Other such casualties can't speak today. There we go. Literally cut through it. Nobody cares. Love it, love it. I'm going to get crap all over me, which is a real shame because I'm wearing a new t-shirt and I like it. So, right, let's just have a quick look at this. You know what? I don't think there's any rot. Is that rot? Mm, it's... Is it going to turn? I don't think so, you know. I think it's all quite good. That's not a bad root system, that. I'm going to take some of the lecker off. It's just anything that will actually freely come off. This plant has been fully grown in lecker. It's a propagation from... God, a long time ago, guys. These plants are not the quickest, if you want to know what I think about them. They are great plants. You get everything that you'd get from a Monstera Albo, but they are quite slow. But then again, Monstera Albo can be quite slow when you prop them. If you don't feed them right, they don't do a whole lot. So these have been quite good, to be honest. I think they've been propagating maybe oh, six months or something. It's, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while. But we're there now. And I, I wasn't gonna take one for myself, but I've really grown quite fond of them. So I might take it in place of an elbow because I figure I can probably get an elbow at any point. I've got plenty of it anyway. It's coming out of my ears, but I don't have a lot of mint. Um, I don't know if these are in TC. Like, I don't know. Okay, so if you can ask me on availability, I don't know. I don't really have anything to sell yet. I have another one of these that I really want to cut, but I can't because I need it to market some new products I've got coming out, which I will be talking about very briefly because they're rather unofficial at this stage. Right. This is what we've got, okay? And I'm just wondering what pot to put it in. I can see one pot that's going to give me very small, condensed, tight potting, especially when there's a pole in it, and the other one is much bigger. We might be able to get this in the bigger pot, actually. But anyway, let's move on to a next question. Oh, yeah, I want to address this because a couple of people, and it is literally a couple of people, but I thought I'd bring it up as a, a quick topic. Um, a couple of people in my last few videos have said, um, you know, why don't you take your phone around the unit or turn your phone the other way? I think I mentioned I had a large phone monster, which is actually now in my house. I had to wheel it into a van and put it in my house. I told you I couldn't show you that monster because it's a large phone and I can't move it. And... I think someone basically said, look, it's a bit lazy, you not. Oh, tiny bit of rot. Just found us, I was talking to you. Um, I think it's a bit lazy, you not doing that. Just turning the camera around and, you know, taking a photo or a video or whatever. Um, the reason I cannot do that, and again, we will get onto this over the course of this video and the next video, is because what you can't see behind the way you are situated right now is five or six pallets full of new products for Nurturism that block off the living wall. It's hard to walk around them. Like beyond where you are now, stuff, top secret stuff. So I can't really do that anyway. I can only actually point the camera this way. I can't, I can't take a camera and move it over there. So it's not, I understand what you're saying about laziness, but it's not, it's actually to protect my secrets. Um, but I was speaking to Ben this morning and I basically said, look, I know these things aren't released yet, but can I maybe sort of soft launch them and tell you a bit about them? So I am going to do that. It is more in the second video, but I'll probably briefly hold them up in this video. Um, but if you want to know all about Nurture System, all about the updates, all about the EU, US stuff, that's all in next week's video. So if that's something that really interests you, make sure you, make sure you click on that. Right. What have we got? Okay. Oh, this is a good topic. 
This is a really good topic. Let me just pick a pot. Should we pick a pot? Because my next topic is neoplants, so brace yourselves. Right, so hold on for one second. I'd like to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If you're looking to create and manage your own website online, then Squarespace might be exactly what you're looking for. I've been using Squarespace for literally like three years now. My shop, the Right Plant Shop, uses Squarespace. And also my brand new plant care brand, Nurture System, also uses Squarespace. But recently, guys, Squarespace just got even more slick. They now feature something called Squarespace Blueprint, which takes you through an even more extensive customization process, allowing you to quickly personalize and launch your website. I can choose the sections I want on each page. I can choose which pages I'd like to include on my website, as well as color scheme and fonts. You can even choose the conversation style that the AI of your website uses. I know. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up a web shop like mine, head to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and back to it. My two pot choices are as follows. I hope you can see this. Yes, you sort of can. Yes, they are dirty. Yes, they are dirty. My two pot choices. One would be this one. Remember, there's a pole going in. One would be this one. And personally, I think that's too small. The root mass does fill it, but it, it really fills it. The next choice, I think, is probably more appropriate. And it's a good job I had this. Because I think the root mass is going to fill it quite nicely and we'll get a pole in. So I think this is our choice. So I'm going to put this back down. I'm going to just scrape this with my hand because there's the odd bit of old root bit of all the choose upon stuff like that don't really want it don't really want it so i'm just giving it a quick straight a straight i'm giving it a scrape guys and then i can pour it into my imaginary bucket here that didn't go in the bucket that went on the floor love that for me right so we're going to put it in this and i'm going to have to constantly wipe my hands on my trousers, which doesn't bother me too much because my horse riding trousers, but I would love some blue roll. Give me one moment, guys, because I would love some. I have a roll of blue roll somewhere. Where doth it live? Here it is. Okay. All right. It's a bit nicer, isn't it? I'm not meaning to be this grim on camera, but hey-ho. Right. All righty then. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll pop that there so I can grab it. A lot of people were saying to me, tell us more about neoplants, the drama, the everything. And I do have some info for you. I really do. First, let me get this pole because I can't actually do anything until I've got this pole. Da, da, da. Now, oh, you know what? That's not going to fit. Oh, that makes me so sad. So normally I have moss poles that will fit in these little holes in the bottom, but it doesn't. It doesn't. So I'm just going to have to put it in manually and put a little bit of pawn in. But guys, but, 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 let me show you something. Sorry, I know you're keen to hear. One moment. Let me, let me grab something for you, okay? Unofficial, unofficial. I'm not using the choose upon today, guys. Because I'm using my own. So you will get a full launch video on this at some point. This is being sent to Amazon... I've got a few boxes in front of me. They're ready to go. They just need uh, labels. It's getting sent to Amazon in the next week or so. So possibly by the next video, this might be purchasable in the UK on Amazon. But this is my pawn that I've been working on for some time. So I will go through when I do a proper video, like what the differences are, because it is a little bit different to the choose upon. This is mine, blah, blah, blah. But just to let you know, I'm going to be using my own pawn today. So it will look similar, but it's not the same. So if you notice something different, that is why. Can't say any more other than that. Um, you might see a number eight on here. That is because we have, I think, up to all the way up to number nine. Number nine is delayed, but we have products all the way up to eight, um, with the exception of number six that is reserved for another liquid product. So over the next month, I'm releasing number two, number three, number four, number five, number seven, which I'm super excited for. Can't wait for it to get here. And number eight. They're coming out in different orders. That's just production. That is what it is. I also happen to have my number five out. This is mycorrhizal, mycorrhizal fungus, fungal inoculant, known as myco usually. I'm selling that as well. It's already out on Amazon, actually. I will link that down below. Again, I haven't fully launched it yet, but it is coming. But they're here. Obviously, again, my feed, 
MyFeed has some very interesting updates on it. So if you want to know more about that, I'll go over that in the next video that you see. But let's just put that back. So yeah, I'm using Pon. It's actually my own. So we'll put him down there. But you didn't see shit, right? You didn't see any of that. So, neoplants, 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 neoplants. Let me just, I'm going to have to move my can of monster. I'm probably have to put a very ugly bucket up on the table, guys, because I'm not gonna be able to scoop down like this. So let me just put this here. I know, she ugly, she ugly, but I need to put some pawn in. So, neoplants. So people asked me for an update, for an update. And, you know, what, what do you think about it? What's happened since, blah, blah, blah. And there is actually a few things that have happened since then. So, one thing that's kind of pissed me off a little bit, and if Neoplants happens to be watching this, if their marketing team is watching this, which they might, they do seem to be doing that. Um, you pissed me off a little bit because I thought I'd cleared up the whole um, me deleting your comments thing, all of that, but you've seemingly left up all the comments where you basically say that I've done those things on your public Instagram. And personally, I think it's bad form. I'm just going to come out and say that because you're a very big company. You're a $20 million funded US huge company. And I just think the right thing to do personally would be to take those comments down. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. It's not like, you know, no one need go and tell them, take it down, take it down. It's bad form or whatever. But I just think it's bad form from a company such as yourselves. I honestly thought I'd cleared that up. If I have not cleared that up for you, I have nothing else I can say on it. Clearly not meant in a derogatory way. Clearly you are not aware of how YouTube works because I think nearly any creator going on the platform would be able to back me up that that's what's happened because I can't, I don't even think I can put a message into that section on my YouTube channel. I don't know. I don't think I can. But anyway, a little bit of bad for me. Left that up. Um, that's not all you've done to piss me off. Let me just uh, fill this. I may as well talk to you directly. Let me just put that in here because then hopefully I can leave that like that. I just want that to stand. Yes. Okay. Check the time. I'm so annoyed that I don't have a remote with me. So yeah, that's not the only thing you've done to piss me off. I'm sure you saw it when I tagged you. Um, for those of you that missed it, I was very fortunate to have somebody send me a copy of the email that they got when they signed up to the, the mailing list or whatever have you for the ASA one. Do you all remember that? If you don't, I have two videos on the Neoplants situation, which honestly, if you haven't seen them, th this whole section is not going to mean much to you. So if you want to pause this, go and watch those two videos and then come back, that's cool. But there's no other way to put this, guys. And then they completely lied to all of us. And I gave them a really good chance to just tell the truth. And it would have been really cool if they just owned up to it and went, yeah, all right, it, you know, the, the Asa one wasn't real. Um, this is the tea. But they didn't. They didn't do that. They sent out an email basically reinforcing that everything written on the website was was real. I think the only difference was um, the company was called Neo Plants and it's possible that the plant was called Neo One or something. But it literally says like everything else on the website is completely true. And makes a lot of sense now while they were being cagey with their answers. Fair enough. But they knew fine well when they were answering my questions where I was going to put those answers. So I don't, th I don't feel as though they've lied to me personally. They've lied to all of us and that ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. Let me just take this off here. I want, I would like to secure this plant before I plant it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that where I want it. And I'm actually just going to very gently push that in there. I want to just tie this, even if it's temporarily on here so that I can do what I need to do. Ah, it's got to go like that, hasn't it? Sorry, I'm just making sure that I get this right. Um, where do we want this? Do we want this to grow like this? I feel like we might, mightn't we? Let's do that. So I can just gently get this round, pin it. There we go. That'll have to do. So that's pissed me off a bit because you lied to all of us. Not a good look, not a good look. But wait, guys, there's more, there's more. So if you haven't seen it, highly suggest I will link it for you down below in the, co in the comments, in the description um, of where to find it. But Pretty in Green did a, a video on it, kind of like a follow-up type thing. He sort of picked up where I left off. So if you haven't seen that, please go and watch that because he found something that I also found. I didn't mention it because I felt like I was getting really, really picky at the time. That's not a criticism of his video or anything, just for the context that I was building. It just, it was a little bit outside the scope. But basically found the same thing as me, which was a few of their graphs 
are dodgy in these white papers, right? They are. They are. Um, the graphs basically are, there's, there's a graph for, is it the Neo P1 and the Neo PX? And it's the same graph. They just changed the numbers on the axes. I think it was like parts per billion to parts per million, or they just changed the amount a lot. But when you overlay the two graphs, the data, including all the noise and all the, you know, the sensors doing different things, that you could literally overlay them exactly. So they've just rehashed a graph in a white paper, super scientific, well done, Neoplant's really good. But wait, there's more. So there was that video that's really good. Again, please watch it. Really like Pretty and Green. He, going back to what we said before about um, turning my DMs on, he is one of the people that I've been able to speak to. So hello, if you're watching, um, which has been really, really cool because if I hadn't turned those on, I wouldn't otherwise be able to speak to these people. I actually reached out to him after I'd done mine because I know a couple of you were like, oh, I'd love to see Pretty and Green do a video on this. And I literally messaged him. I was like, please do a video on this. <laughs> like, I really want to see your take. And obviously he's gone and done that, which is really cool. So two seconds, just pop my, my pawn into the pot. Um, so yeah, wait, there's more. I think, did he say, could be wrong. I think he said on the beginning of the video that he was offered a, like a sponsored, a sponsorship opportunity with Neoplans, but I think he turned it down. Could be wrong. He's told me privately he doesn't want to, you know, associate with them in that way. Um, so that's that for you. But it's come to, I think, his attention because I told him and a few other people's attention that Neoplans are, I think they're quite pissed off. I think, would that be fair, new plants? Would that be fair? You're quite pissed off. So they've been offering other YouTubers reasonable sums of money, okay? It's not, this, it's not, we're talking, not talking about like, like a few hundred dollars at all. We're talking about thousands to do, you know, dedicated videos on the Neo PX or whatever in a, in a positive light. They've been offering people really decent, like I'll give it to you, really decent sums of money to do that. Um, which tells me they're not having a great time. They're not having a great time. But I tell you what, if you just stop lying, you'll have a better time. So you've probably lied about your graphs. If it is a mistake, fair enough, but it's a pretty terrible mistake to make in your scientific papers. Not good. Pretty terrible mistake to lie to my following, i.e. you guys, about the answers to the questions pertaining to things like the ASA one. Pretty shit thing to do, not gonna lie. And you know what, guys, I keep it real on this channel. I keep it real on this channel. I don't hate this company, by the way. It might come across like I'm, I'm gunning for them. I'm not. I gave them a shot to explain themselves and they, I thought they did an okay job till I got sent the email, till I found out they were actively trying to rinse content opportunities for positive content, presumably to, how do I put it? Sort of suppress videos like mine, pretty and green, stuff like that, of people just not even bashing them, just asking quite valid questions like, yo, do you want to explain this? What's going on? And I would love to see, I hope he does it, if Pretty and Green does a follow-up video, because I think he said he was asking them to clarify some points. I think he was speaking to them. Um, as far as I know, they were speaking back. So I would love to hear a follow-up video if he does one. So please do. I would love to hear that. But it's just like, just, just go forward on an honest footing and you wouldn't have had to have any of this happen. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it just pisses me off. And I will say something, because it's a 20 million dollar company and I look, look, I don't know if they were targeting the houseplant market or not. I would suggest that they aren't. I think Pretty and Green suggested that maybe they were. I'm not so sure. Maybe if they are, maybe it is because I think he said he made like a comment like, oh, he thinks we're all like hippies or whatever and we just have no brain and none of us care about the science. I think that's kind of what he said. Um, I, I don't know if they're targeting the houseplant market or not. Hey, Neoplans, maybe you could leave a comment because you're not blocked and tell us who your target audience is. But to lie as well, guys, and it, maybe lie is the wrong word, but to try and mislead us that, you know, fi filters such as Dyson filters, I'm not saying that they be all and end all, but filters such as those, you know, they don't filter VOCs and stuff like that. It's just, it's just fucking not true. It's just not true. Shit like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. I still think, honestly, I'll say it a million times. I think Pretty and Green also said it. Just sell the fucking drops. Sell the drops. Let that be your business model. I would still like to know, and if I could ask them more questions, something tells me they don't want me to, but I would still ask how a fertilizer affects it because a fertilizer could kill that bacteria. It could. I don't, I'm not saying it does. I'm saying I don't know. So I don't know if they thought about the plant, really. The, the plant for them is a vessel. I get it. But there's a lot of questions that aren't even shady, if you know what I mean, that are unanswered and... 
I mean, it tells you a lot when all their comments are off on all their videos. I wasn't aware of that, by the way, which is funny to me because the Instagram comments are on, um, but the YouTubes are off. And I find that really odd. Why? Why is that? So there's a few things that just make me kind of like, mm, okay, that's a bit weird, you know? But that's my opinion on it anyway. So there has been developments. There has been developments. And before you ask, I don't intend on making another video. I will make another video if it becomes relevant, if there's stuff happens and I need to report to you on. I could have made all that there a video. I'm not going to, but everything I've just said will be mentioned if they do something to piss people off, I guess. Um, I don't know in the plant community who's taking the sponsors. I can't speak. I don't know in the plant community who is taking the sponsorships and who isn't. I'm not privy to it. I spoke to one person because they were considering it and I basically said, um, you know, get your coin. If I, if I do a response video for any reason, it wouldn't be towards you. It would be to something that they claimed sort of thing. So that's fine. Um, I don't know if they're doing that or not. I have no idea. So it's all just a bit ugh. But it's not on us, the YouTubers that have made it ugh. All we have done is ask questions. What you have done is you have butchered it with your answers, which isn't great. And then if, if your only tactic is to wash over your bad answers by just paying people to talk positively about it, that's probably not going to go down well for you. And honestly, I don't know why you care so much. I'm just some girl over in England that I don't even think you're even selling to England. I don't know. I'm just some girl with a channel that likes to talk shit, right? You can write me off as that. All I want people to do is question, you know, act with the contents of their wallet and make good decisions. And that, that, that is it. So I don't want anybody to genuinely sit here and think I'm trying to make like a big thing and trying to make them the next fucking pink Congo thing. Because I'm not. I just asked valid questions and the questions are still very valid. Their problem is they didn't fucking answer them. And when they did, they didn't answer them well. Now, I don't know who I was speaking to. I don't know if I was speaking to the CEO, Lionel, I think his name is, or someone from the marketing team. I have no idea, but it's, it's not going well for you. I'll tell you that. I'm sure I may have put the email on the screen. I don't know if I have or not. I'm saying this. I don't know if I've edited it in. I've either made the decision to or not to, but that ain't so good. That ain't so good. Um, not nice. Not nice. Thank you to, I can't remember who you were, but thank you so much for sending that email to me. I only wish I had it when filming that last video because I would have called them out so hard for that. So, so hard because then their answers to one of the questions was, I was basically like, why do you mislead everyone about the ASA one? It wasn't my question, but that's kind of what I was saying. And they basically said, oh, you know, it was an e-commerce test. We, we transparently told everyone everything over email back then, but you fucking didn't. You didn't. Um, bold thing, bold thing to lie about when you're still trying to sell to that same community that you've probably taken the emails from. I don't know. That's my piece on neoplants, by the way. That that's that's kind of it. Like I don't at the moment I don't have any more to say other than yes, there has been some shit go down. I've heard things. They don't seem happy. Um, and they're willing to pay with their wallets to make problems go away. But I think the more people ask the questions the more they should be answered. Um, the Instagram thing, I just think it's bad form, personally. Do what you want. I honestly, do what you want. You don't have to remove it. I'm not telling you to remove it. I just think it's a bit shit that you didn't. But you know, which is, it is weird when you're turning comments off on other things, but you're happy to leave those up. Bit selective. Look, I know you don't like me, I get it, but I just ask questions. Just ask questions. Because you know what, if I had overstepped the mark, guys, I'd have had a letter by now, but nobody on YouTube, I tell you now, all of these influencers that you're messaging to do sponsored content for you, nobody's that stupid. So don't hold your breath for that. Oh, and by the way, you're assuming that other plant YouTubers won't talk to each other. We do. So yeah, you might wanna, you might wanna bear that in mind going forward. Right, I've attached this guy onto here. Does he look good? He looks a bit shit actually. Why have I put him on that way? Can I move him a little bit? Ooh. Oh, I don't like doing this, but um, I've twisted him a little bit. I haven't filled it to the top with my pond because I'm reserving it for something else, but I've filled it a little bit. Now I did have somewhere, oh, sorry guys, that's, that's crunchy, that is crunchy. Did have a little bit of this. I've lost, I've lost my green tape again. I found it at one point now, I've lost it. I'm going to put it around the, mm, around the bottom to hold it. And I might keep that other tape where it is on the top because I feel like it makes sense. Was there another topic? I feel like there was another topic for this video. Hang on. I've lost my phone, guys. I've lost my phone. Oh, it's in front of me. Hang on. What do we have? Ah, yes. Okay. What's... Ugh. Give me one minute. You cannot do that. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, probably can't explain the message that I just got. That's very 
I'm at work and you know I'm at work. That's really naughty. That's really naughty. Oh. Anyway, sorry. What was I even saying? Yes. I have another topic. So. <laughs> um. uh, I'm losing everything now. Oh. oh, it's the ice cream man. I wonder if you can hear that. Oh, he stopped. That's awkward. Cheeky better toll you in. Also, don't vape. So, before I move on to my next topic, he is about done. Um, I will just talk to you about this topic because I wanted to put it in this video, so I will. Um, he is planted. He is planted in my pond. He is planted in a El Ho outer pot. I hope you can see this. Sorry, I'm covering him. How rude. El Ho outer pot with an El Ho self-watering insert. I don't know where you can get these. I think you can only get them in the UK and EU. Maybe you can get them in the US. I don't know. If you have some really good US self-watering insert brands, Write a comment, let me know, because I'm more than happy for everyone to just share that and share the self-watering love. I remember, guys, when people used to take the piss out of me for using self-watering, because somehow that's valid. I don't know. But anyway, I digress. So he's potted up in my pond, my new pond, which I will tell you about it more in a future video, but it, it's it's very much made of the same stuff. It is a little bit uh, more of a coarse mix, so that the, the, the bits are a bit larger, not too large. Um, it, it's a criticism I've always had of regular pond that is, it's just a little bit too fine for me personally. Again, it's what your preference is. So this is a little bit coarser. I've had plants growing in this and they've done wonderfully. If you have not seen my Instagram with that amazing Anthurium Bessii, oh my God. He will be fed off camera with this nurture system, the power grow. And again, next video, you'll get an update on that. So what I will do is I will leave him here while I talk to you about the last topic very quickly, just so we can get through it. All right, oh, that is crunchy, isn't it? Whoa. The last topic, which is, let me just get it up, so to speak. Not that, not that, not put that up, oh my God. Uh, yeah, plant pedigrees and trusted sellers. Let me just check the time on my camera. I hate having to get up and do this. I need my remote back. Yeah, we're good, we're good, hang on. Because very crammed around here. So, plant pedigrees and trusted sellers. I think you just meant it as a topic. So, it's probably like, what do I think? Is it important? I think it's along those lines. Sorry, I can't remember the specifics of it. Basically, the thing with it is you do what you want. It's, it's the same thing with anything I ever say on this channel. It's why I do investment videos. It's why I do neoplants videos, rare plant indexes, like you name it. When I do plant hauls and I say, oh, I've got this plant in, but is it easy? I don't know. Is it boring? Yeah, maybe. Like, this is why I say this to you, because I want you to vote with your wallets. I want you to vote with your mind. And I guess I can't make too much comment on the plant providence stuff like that thing, just because it is really up to you guys and it's whether you trust your seller. That it, Honestly, that's what it boils down to. You will get plenty sellers, and I'm not tarring everyone with the same brush, but you'll get plenty of seller that will say, hi, you know, this is done from, I know this is not quite what you're talking about, but you know, this is from seed. And it fucking isn't, it's TC. Are you gonna know? No, I'm sorry, no. There's very little hallmarks that you can tell a seed plant from a TC plant. I'm gonna be honest with you. If I grew out some Thai consolation seeds and got them to, you know, this big versus a tissue culture tie, which ironically the seeds are tissue cultured anyway, so it's a bad example. Don't get me wrong, it's a bad example. You probably couldn't tell, okay? It's really down to you and who you trust and do you care. Now, a lot of people are quite happy to spend the extra money on things. That's cool. No one should have a go at you for doing that. I hope that you are getting what you pay for. And I'm not trying to taint sellers in a bad light because there's plenty of people that are very transparent. My only concern is that a lot of people aren't because now we are in the climate where most of us are struggling to sell most things. I'll be totally honest with you, I am. I'm in that bank completely. So as people get more desperate, I worry. I worry a little bit. There's no one, by the way, that's coming to mind when I'm saying this, like literally nobody. Um, but I, I'm just aware that, you know, by by logical deduction that it's, it's probably happening kind of thing. Um, there are some very good things out there, like a lot of the Doc Block stuff. I've had the pleasure of talking to um, Doc Block quite a bit. I think it was a year or two ago. Um, his stuff is quite nice. It's It's been carefully selected down, so that's really cool. Um, and you can normally tell when they are that. You can't when they're juvenile. And this is this is the problem I think some of us are running into because we're buying juvenile plants and they don't look like the thing. They don't look like the thing yet and you're having to trust them. Or a lot of us are buying F1 hybrids, which basically means 
it's the first generation of two plants producing that hybrid. So it's very variable in appearance. So someone might sell like a seedling go, oh, I've got 50 of these, but it doesn't mean say you're getting 50 of these because the plant might grow to be different. And again, I know this is not quite what you're asking. Apologies. Sometimes that pays off. Sometimes that pays off. I'll see if I can show you an example, actually, since we're here. Why not? Give me one moment. Got a really lovely little thing here. I'll have to bring it up to the camera. So you're going to see me closer than what you probably would like. I apologize. This here is, what is it? It is... Uh, the, the plant name I can't pronounce, it's like Maranta Lecunera or something, something like that, crossed with Delta, right? I'm just never going to be able to pronounce it, I'm sorry. So these are F1 crosses, right? So it's the first time it's ever been crossed, so you get really variable things. So you get, there's two different plants in here, you get one that's looking like this, this is the newest leaf, very nice. You get others that look more like this and are more rounded, okay? In the same, in the same thing. Again, that's another one from the first one I showed you. And then again, you get some that are more rounded. I can't show you them. And the lobes are different. Stuff like this will happen. So when you do buy your seeds, please bear that in mind. Now, don't get me wrong. Personally, as long as you know where you're putting your money and you're educated on that and you know that that is the tea, then go for it because you can actually get some really beautiful hybrids, right? That is actually how Delta Force came to be, guys, because it was just the one-off, the one-off cross that looks like that. And I tell you something, nobody's been able to produce the same thing. Nobody's ever been able to produce the same thing. So it is cool. And a lot of people, especially in the Anthurium world, are really enjoying that right now. They're enjoying getting the seeds. They're enjoying growing it out. I do, I'm like a, how would you call it? I handle imports anyway for Cartel Dawn. They sell a shit ton of Anthuriums and I get a lot of seeds come through and I can see it when I'm packaging them. A lot of people buying seeds. And that is the fun of it. Um, and all, all we can ever ask is that sellers try and be honest. It might be helpful to explain things like that if they don't know, I guess. But really, it's up to you. Like, I don't, I don't think people are, like, up their own ass for doing it to, to go for things like, oh, well, I won't buy TC, I'll buy that. Because um, at the end of the day, it's fucking up to you, man, is whether you want to spend the money. Personally, I don't care. I'm, and I've always been in this camp when it's to do with something, you know, oh, this is a cutting from the original blah, 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 and it's not TC versus TC, for example. I don't give a shit. I want you to have a plant that you like. I want you to enjoy having plants. I want them to bring you joy. I want them to be good for your mental health and make you happy. That's it. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit if it costs a lot, if it costs a little, if it's very good, if it's not, if there's one in the world, if there's 360 million in the world. I could not give two shits. My bag has always been rare stuff. Fine. It's not really that rare anymore. Fine. It doesn't bother me. I still like the same things. A lot of the time I like plainer things. So really, my opinion is just do what you want with your wallet. I don't have any negative opinions on it. All I worry about occasionally is sellers just banking on the fact that, you know, I, I don't know if it's the same now, but when TC was starting to rise and stuff, people were like, oh, I'm never going to buy TC. And it's like, well, you probably have already. Do you know what I mean? That's probably the only time I've had an opinion just because I think you can't, we can't go back to what we do in 2020 with poaching and stuff and then not praise TC for coming along because it's it's ended poaching. Let's, let's not ended it, but you, you know what I mean. Um, it's it's greatly reduced it, I should say. So in that sense, it's good. So that's my opinion. I realize I've I've diverted that quite a bit. Um, but yeah, if, if you want to go for something like that, if you only want to buy dock block hybrids, for example, fucking go do it. Fucking have at it. I got gifted one a few weeks ago now from a friend and I'm loving that. I wouldn't, personally buy one but that's only because I don't have easy access to it um I haven't looked into it enough especially not since I spoke to him a couple of years ago and I don't really have the time and I don't know what I want yet so it's not that I wouldn't buy one you know what I mean really depends really really depends so that is my opinion on that and that probably ends this video because I'm now going to do a new video where I'm going to pot you probably can't see it but I have a beautiful variegate gloriosum down there that I'm going to pot in very much the same way um so we'll do that next time and I've got some 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 updates for you so anyway Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my topics. Topics for the next video, if you are but curious. I will tell you before I go. We have uh, stuff to do with repot shock, stuff like that, products I recommend, blah, blah, blah. Nurture system updates, big updates. AU mainly, big updates. Um, Rainbow life update. Yeah, I kept it, I kept it. And plant YouTube is on my block list. So if you like that, you like the idea of that, please tune in for the next video. Otherwise, I will love you and leave you before my recording runs out. Uh, thank you very much for watching. He's probably going to acclimate here a little bit before I take him home, just to make sure he's all right. Again, I'm going to water him off camera. I couldn't plant him low enough. He's probably got going to have a couple of little roots here that die, but they're like secondary roots, so it is what it is. Um, eventually, I'll probably swap the pole out, but hopefully he'll be fine because he's, he's well underway now, and hopefully we won't need to cut him.
Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you like what you see, please leave a like. Let's me know that I'm making content that you enjoy. Any comments you want to leave or great. Uh, my socials blah, 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 are linked probably right here on the screen for y'all. Or maybe that side. No, I think it's this side. I don't know. I'm looking at a flipped viewfinder. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh, links to anything that you may need are in the description. Uh, check out Pretty and Green's video. Tell Jonathan, be it a plant guy, I said hello. And please subscribe to his channel. He's absolutely, he honestly cracks me up. He's brilliant. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.